Hi, I'm Doug with thechickenpoop.com. Today we're going to be talking about vertical mulching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications when we're doing our next video. For those of you that are not familiar with vertical mulching, it's very simply punching holes into the ground, maybe about 15 inches, and filling them with a nutrient-rich compost. If you want to know more about the compost biochar mixture we're going to be using, I will have a link below. Last October, I planted 25 fruit trees. Everything's from apples, figs, peaches, pears. But before I planted all these apple trees and fruit trees, I fertilized my pasture. Now, as many of you know, I am a beekeeper. And before we got the fruit trees, I had to prepare this pasture for, for the bees. So we fertilized, I planted crimson clover, ryegrass, arrowleaf clover. But the fertilization we did for the pasture isn't enough for the fruit trees. That's why we are doing vertical mulching for each of these trees. Fruit trees need a nutrient-rich food. Now let's talk compost versus mulching. As many of you are familiar with mulching, it is ground up wood chips or uh, bark that is spread across the surface of the ground to help maintain the uh, sun shading as well as the moisture in the ground. Whereas compost is a nutrient-rich food. Now, what we're gonna do today I guess could be called uh, vertical composting, but that does create different images. Now, what you may end up doing is a combination of the two. You may punch your holes in the ground, fill them with compost, and then cover the soil with wood chips to help maintain the moisture. Now let's talk about the holes. I'm gonna be using a six inch auger to punch holes in the ground. And the reason being is I've got 25 fruit trees, which means a minimum of 50 holes that I have to punch. Now you may not have a gas powered auger. You may actually have a post hole digger or may not even have that, use a shovel. Now, you're wondering about the size. You may use, depending on what you've got, a three inch hole, which means you need to add more. I'm using six inch because I'm trying to increase the nutrient-rich food for the trees. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, as well as hit that bell icon. We'll see you next video.